<laughs> she's not afraid of bears, she's afraid of murderers. Someone's gonna knock on the window and be like, I'm here to kill you. So the verdict is that it wasn't as scary last night as I thought it would be. Mostly because we were in the protection of the wonder. It's like a luxury home in the middle of the woods. How scared could you be? If you ever wanted to see a city girl in a big world, it's right here. Like, camping outfit and this hat from New York City. So funny. This is where we camped last night. We boondocked right here because we got in so late that we couldn't find a proper camp spot. But it was a good night last night. We dry camped. The leisure van is awesome. Even in your, if you're in the middle of absolutely nowhere, absolutely nowhere like we kind of are, you get full electricity, full lights, you can even have air conditioning, a hot shower, it's amazing. It's better than my shower at home. I'm moving into the leisure van. We've decided we're gonna take the leisure van and steal it and never return it. Never. Thank you Go RV in Canada for putting us in touch with leisure vans <laughs> because this wonder is my new home, whether <laughs> they like it or not. <laughs> Today we're pushing towards Man Manitoba. Madagascar. <laughs> Guys, we're going to Madagascar. We're going to Madagascar. Anywhere with an M, we'll go. <laughs> Guys, today we're pushing towards Manitoba. Hopefully we'll make it close to the border and maybe even into Manitoba today, but it's a long haul again today. We're meant to be pushing it today because we're so far behind schedule, but we keep getting distracted by views like this. This is Lake Superior behind us. There's like cut out rocks and there's a bridge you can't see right now. Not from the ground anyway. We're at a place called Agua Sabin Falls, I believe. We're distracted once again and becoming even more late. That's uh, the point of road trips though. You're supposed to stop when you see something interesting. So totally the point of road trips. And so what if we're a day late getting back to Calgary? We're keeping the RV anyway. Yeah, so I think we're just gonna take our time from now on. We found Tim Hortons. We're just outside of Thunder Bay and we're stopping at like the Terry Fox scenic lookout. For those of you that don't know, Terry Fox is a Canadian icon. Way back when, a couple decades ago, uh, he lost a leg to cancer and then decided that with one leg, he tried to run all the way across Canada. It became a huge like sensation. Everybody from all over the country was coming out to run with him when they passed through his town. Unfortunately, before he made it all the way through, the cancer resurfaced in his lungs and he passed away. This is a memorial because this is as far as he got and we're gonna go check it out. We're still stopping everywhere, still way behind schedule, still loving the day. We stopped in another waterfall that I, I have no idea what it looks like, but it's loud. It's called Kakabeka or Kakabika Kak Falls or something like that. And yeah, let's go photograph it or at least take a look at it because it's not exactly ideal light for waterfall photography. But yeah, let's go check this out. It looks cool. If you guys are wondering, I'm still loving Albert because of this. Look at how high I can put Albert and still get stable long exposure photos of waterfalls like this. That's so cool. Loving Albert. Albert the tripod.
Aaron and I are behind schedule, but we're okay with that. Totally okay with that. It's like before sunset and we're at our campsite at a place a couple hours nearer than we wanted to get today, but that's totally fine. We're at a place called Sandbar Lake Provincial Park, and apparently it looks pretty cool for photographing. So we're gonna set up camp here, and then we're gonna go down to the lakefront and shoot some photography at sunset. So an exciting moment is happening here on our great Canadian adventure. Erin, the wondrous Erin, is starting her very first fire, or attempting to start her very first fire. I think I maybe, I think I failed, yeah, so I failed at making fires, like campfires. Yeah. However, I've, I've, I could light a stove, like a camping stove. Anybody can start a canting camping stove. <laughs> anybody. I couldn't do it the first night. <laughs> Anyways, she's going to start the fire. I'm not going to help her at all. Well, help me a little bit. I think it's fairly easy because we got extremely dry wood and it's a lot of paper. So it should be easy. I think and she's got me. it. So here goes nothing. We have fire. We sort of made fire, but really Brendan did it. I've left Aaron with the fire and I'm down here at the lake front now. The location isn't perfect. It's a huge lake, it's pretty flat, but there are some rocks in the foreground that I can use as anchors and maybe get a shot or two here. For a setup on my camera, it's pretty much the usual. If you watch this channel a lot, you see the setup a lot. Canon 6D, 16 to 35 millimeter lens. Then I've got my grad filter on, my three stop soft ND and a six stop ND as well, just cause I wanna show, slow down the shutter speed and play with that a little bit. So let's do some shooting here and yeah, and get back to the campfire. She's not afraid of bears, she's afraid of murderers. Someone's gonna knock on the window and be like, I'm here to kill you. 